Hey moms, so are you looking for the one thing that will propel you forward to achieve big things? Well then stick with me because I am going to let you in on the one trait every mom entrepreneur needs to achieve big goals. <laughs> Hey mom, so I'm Jody the mom from lifeunbox.blog and this is a mompreneur life coffee chat. So this is kind of the time where I peel back the curtain on life as a mompreneur and homeschool mom and we chat about a topic that is uh, on our minds. And so this week we're going to we're talking about achieving big things and um you know, a lot of times as moms, we feel like we don't have time, like we have a lot of ideas, but we just don't have uh, the time to do it. And legitimately, we are busy, especially if you're homeschooling, if you're running businesses, like I'm running, I run two businesses. So it is um, a legitimate excuse. But there are probably certain things that you want to accomplish and um, get done, whether it's for yourself personally or for your business. And so how do we do that? The one thing that you need, I'm gonna just tell you up front, is discipline. And I will explain myself and I will explain why this is the only thing that you need if you want to achieve, achieve big things. So, I typically record all my shows on Tuesday, so or on Tuesdays, so that way everyone knows what's happening, it's part of our normal routine, and there are no surprises, because this is a family endeavor when I record, because everybody needs to be quiet. <laughs> so everyone that needs to be on board, and so the easiest way to do that is just to build it into our routine. So there was one Tuesday, where I was just like, I do not want to do this. I am not up for it. So my daughter looks at me and she goes, mom, discipline equals freedom. Don't you just hate it when your kids throw uh, your life instructions back at you? So my husband had actually um, played them a clip from a Jocko podcast, and I'll leave that link below. And he was talking about how discipline equals freedom. So my daughter kindly turned that around onto me. So I went and I did my recording. And you know what? It's true. I felt free. I didn't feel this thing like hanging over my head for the rest of the week, you know, trying to figure out when I was actually going to fit it in. Because, you know, when you create the routine and you have that discipline of doing something at the same time every week, you have that carved out space and if you put it off then you're gonna have to find a different time to carve out that space and so I didn't have to do any of that and so it made me realize that it is true discipline does equal freedom and I know there's like a lot of a discussion about the role of motivation and um, where does discipline fall in and I think sometimes we get the role of those two things confused. Yes, we need motivation. Motivation is what got you started with your business. It got you started writing the book. It got you uh, started doing social media management. It got you started doing whatever it is that you're doing. It got you started homeschooling. But the funny thing about motivation is it doesn't keep you. So you can be the most motivated person uh, when you're starting out, but once you hit that messy middle, there has to be something else that's going to continue to propel you forward. And that is where discipline comes in. So if you've watched any of my um, goal videos, and I have quite a few, so I think I've, I created a playlist, so I'll leave that in the description below. Um, you know that I don't like the idea of goals. You know that I think SMART goals are garbage. Um, 
And this is why. We've had them around since 1981. That's when they were first presented, um, I think, for some business meeting. I looked it up. I can't remember now. But in 1981, they've been around for 42 years, yet 92% of people say they do not accomplish their goals. Maybe after 40 years of something not working, it's time to say we need to try something different. So the alternative for me is creating habits or discipline, cultivating discipline in your own life. Because again, motivation can only take you so far. So how do you cultivate discipline in your life to get the, to achieve those big things? It has to come from within you. Yes, you can have outside motivators to kind of propel you forward, but ultimately to get you started down that path of discipline, but ultimately discipline comes from within you. And it is a habit that you need to create. So I'm just looking, I wrote down some notes. I just want to make sure we have it all. So I don't think that you should say, I want to get healthy. So therefore to start, I'm going to run uh, three miles when I haven't even ran a mile in 20 years. That is not discipline. That is setting yourself up for failure. So discipline is starting with one thing and committing to do it, whether it's daily or weekly, if you're going to work three times a week, whatever it is, you're making that commitment to discipline yourself in this one area. So for example, like with my blog, uh, I remember when I started out thinking like, how am I going to write like all the time. How am I going to write all of this content? Because the goal was to produce, put up something new every week. That's a lot of content to write. And so, but it was the discipline of either doing it Friday morning if we didn't have co-op or Saturday mornings. And so what happens is now that I am like two years into it, my mind is trained and disciplined to get up and start writing at those times. So I've train my mind to get the juices flowing, the thoughts going, and all of that stuff. So it actually becomes easier to do because I've disciplined my mind that this is what we're doing at these times. And so it becomes easier, hence almost 200,000 words in. (laughs) Like, who would have thought? I would never have thought that I could write 200,000 words, but here we are. And so, mom, let me ask you this. What are those big things that you want to achieve? And where do you need to build that discipline in? You're motivated to do it, but when you hit that hard spot or that rough patch or that, uh, or you lack the desire to actually do it, what is going to continue to propel you forward? And it's that discipline or the habits that you've created to work on this task. You can accomplish big things as a busy mom and as a busy homeschool mom. It is totally possible. It is just up to you to decide how you're going to do that and where you need the discipline to do that. If you want to write a book, then you need, and I know most authors will say like, just sit down and write 500 words. Start with 250 words. Just discipline yourself to get in 250 words, whether that's daily, whether that's three times a week, whatever it is. Discipline yourself to do that. Set set the bar that you so that you can accomplish it, but then you can build on it once you have successfully accomplished that first step. So what are you gonna do? What big thing are you going to accomplish? Let me know in the comments below. And do you, what, uh, what, <clears throat> sorry, I can't talk. Uh, what do you think the role of discipline plays in your life? So let me know in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot. And I will see you in the next show. <laughs>